This is our entrance. And this one I'm extremely proud of. This is a very, very nice feature of the house. As soon as you walk in, you close this door and you see this beautiful, beautiful entrance. Um, we have this throughout the house, this feature of the slat, wood slats, all the way th throughout the house to kind of bring everything together. And another really cool feature about this, um, we had nowhere to put hooks. We didn't want to put hooks anywhere where it's showing. We didn't want uh, hooks over in this corner. So we came up with this idea and we just have these nice little hidden hooks so that your guests can hang their coats and nicely tucked away when everybody's gone. And of course we have this beautiful granite bench, extremely solid. So as you can see here, as we go up the stairs, we use a landing system instead of a pie system. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable to walk up the stairs, um, giving you a lot more space, a lot easier to walk up. And beautiful flooring, very, very nice feature. And walking through the walk-through pantry, and of course you had your groceries, set them down on the island. So easy, such a nice space to walk into. Um, and we've got this, this is a nice design for this kitchen. It's a very contemporary, very modern. We've got beautiful features, as you can see up top. Um, this border that we had put in, uh, beautiful stained black oak throughout. Um, and as you can tell, there's no handles throughout this whole kitchen, making it much easier to clean. Very easy to open, beautiful drawers, um, and this lighting feature that we got throughout. It's very, very nice, especially at night when you're walking through, you don't want too much light. Very nice to have. Uh, beautiful storage up here. All, and all keeping it very simple, but very, very unique. And we've got beautiful appliances throughout too, uh, all Whirlpool appliances. Um, this a nice fridge right here. A uh, beautiful stove. And of course our dishwasher in this corner. And our champagne gold tap matching all the fixtures in the house. Yeah, very, very nice space. Beautiful uh, waterfall granite countertop, and of course, when you when you're here entertaining people, of course, the space is definitely going to get used for that. And you're also right next to your living room, and right next to your dining room. You can have your TV mounted up there, and just an amazing, amazing entertainment space. And of course, you've got your nice backyard right here with all these beautiful windows facing east. Master bedroom. Uh, the master bedroom faces the back of the house so you can see the beautiful big backyard. And lots of space in this room. Again with our champagne gold with our beautiful fixtures. And we've got our walk-in closet as well. This is a nice little space. Um, it's very well used. We've got lots of shelving, lots of storage. We've got a wraparound shelf that goes all the way around the closet. Two shelf units. Space to put some long clothing there. Lots of space. So in our ensuite off of our uh, master bedroom here, there's lots of features in this bathroom. Um, first we have this nice shower door, it operates both ways. Uh, we've got our champagne gold throughout and that feature goes throughout the house. Um, it really, really shines in this washroom. We've got this nice, we located the register underneath our towels to help dry. It's a 
That was very well thought out. Uh, beautiful soaker tub with your amazing view of your backyard, tiled walls, and yeah, just a really, really nice space. Very comfortable. So I'm standing here in the bonus room and I'm going to demonstrate a few things about our future entertainment unit that we have here. Uh, number one is you can see this hole that we have back here, all electrical, uh, electronics and our plugs, all that stuff gets tucked behind here. Uh, it's a nice little feature. We also have that on the main floor, which we'll show you. And also we have these nice big drawers. This is, this is a nice little feature. Usually have lots of room for books and toys, whatever you want. And these all the way beautiful cubby holes. And this is the part I like the most, right over here. We've got a big drawer that opens up. And there's lots of room here for blankets and pillows. Chair as well. With uh, some storage space underneath. And you can also utilize the space for a laptop, computer, if you want. Everything's right here, or just an extra chair for TV watching. So right off of our front entrance here, we have our office slash den. Uh, this is a nice size room too. It's nice space. You can see the front of your house from there. We've got our concrete guys working out there right now. Our driveway and sidewalk. Yeah, this is a very nice, nice space. Right off the entrance, you can see anybody walking in. Our laundry room. This laundry room is situated upstairs and it's in between all the rooms. Perfect location for it. It's got just enough space. Uh, we've got this nice feature up here where you can hang some white clothes, put it back up. Very easy to access, very easy to use, lots of cabinet space. And we've got our built-in shelves here for baskets, beautiful space. Coming out from the garage here and into the mudroom, this is a really, really nice feature and I can speak from a family guy, you need something like this when you got kids. You need a place to put their stuff when they come in from the garage. And this is a really nice space. Not only does it look good, but it's very functional. It's got all your basket spaces up top, nice hooks, and of course storage for your shoes or boots. And you still have room here. You got your nice big closet here. Um, hang all your jackets and winter gear whatever you want and you even have a broom closet right in your mud room then this nice little plug in here so you can put uh, hang a vacuum and charge it very well thought out put a lot a lot of thought into this and this is what I really really like you've got your walkthrough pantry. Now I know this feature is in a lot of places, but it fits this one really good. Fits this plan extremely well. It's just big enough. You got your nice coffee bar on the side, lots of storage, beautiful cabinets throughout the whole pantry. And yeah, what a nice, nice spot. Okay. And then you walk in into your kitchen. Just that easy. All right, here we have our linen closet, which is extremely, extremely nice to have because it's uh, in this three bedroom house, right in the middle of our hallway. It's close to the laundry room and everything. And it's got lots of space. This is really nice to have, especially with a, a growing family and all that so in our bedrooms and in our linen closets or anything where there's double doors throughout a house that Emerald Park Homes build this is a really really nice feature and I've always liked this uh, we always use double doors as uh, for closets and we try very very hard and I've yet to see it used by full doors 
because they're garbage. We don't like them. So this is actually a really nice feature and it's always throughout our house. Here we are in the basement. It's got lots of features. Um, number one, we put in these steel beams up here uh, so that we can have a nice flush ceiling all the way through. Web joists so that we can tuck all our ductwork inside. Nothing is seen, leaving this space nice and big when it's all developed. Uh, we took it to the stage where it's framed so we can kind of showcase what this could look like. Of course, at this stage, you can remove walls and change if you want, but it is a nice space just the way it is. We use nice big egress windows in the basement, allowing a lot of light through and very easy to open and close. Uh, lots of storage underneath the stairs. As you can see right here, we even, we even go to the extent of not building a wall right here so that we can tuck lots of storage underneath. Here in this corner, we have the bathroom space, a little linen closet right over here, and you walk through into your mechanical. Uh, this house is equipped with a three zone system. And that means you can control the temperature on each floor as you want, which is very, very nice to have. Um, especially if you have a basement that's a little bit colder, you can heat it up a little bit more. Lots of valves here for hookups, barbecue. Um, you can do a heater in the garage, anything you want. Lots of different spaces there. And of course our air to air exchange. Nice big panel, lots of space left for your basement development. And of course, in this space, we did something a little bit different in this house. Um, we have a space that can be turned into a cold storage space, um, a, a safe of some sort, anything you want. And we even have a thought of possibly putting a secret door here so we can hide this space. Very good location for that and we absolutely do not mind building these secret doors it's uh we love doing this kind of stuff and that's yeah very nice space lots of room for shelving and there you go